Welcome back, everybody. My name is Blue Jay, and we are back for another episode of Blueprints. In today's episode, we are going to be building Impulse SV's automatic sorting system with an item elevator that we have done some tweaks to ourselves. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got a couple places marked out, and we're going to put a block here so we can place down a forward-facing hopper, and then we will put an input chest right on top of that hopper and break this block. And then we're going to come over here with a dropper and make sure that that is facing upwards just like that. And then we will connect up a hopper line just like this. And just like that, we are finished with the first part of our build. And now on to the item elevator, which is made out of droppers. We're going to do it five high, so we'll add one, two, three, four more. And then out of the side of these droppers, we will start placing down our redstone circuit. The first redstone item that we need is a comparator coming out of the dropper just like that with a redstone repeater next in line. And basically what this is going to do is it will detect when an item is in the dropper and it will send a redstone signal to that repeater. The problem you find with a lot of item elevators is that items get stuck when the circuit finally shuts off. Uh, so this is what solves that problem. This is a comparator pulse extender. You have three comparators just like that facing forward and then three more just like this facing backwards. And this will allow the signal to stay on long enough for all items to reach the top of the elevator so that there is no loss of any of our items. The signal will be sent all the way to this repeater into that block which will eventually invert this torch which will allow this signal to be turned off. And I'll show you what that will do in just a moment, but we will place down some more redstone dust right here. And then we will have another torch right here with a repeater running into this block, just like that. And then we need a way to carry the signal up. And so we're just gonna use a standard redstone torch tower, which alternates torches and blocks until we get to the top one right here, just like that. And that's basically it for the circuit of our item elevator. We're gonna go ahead and give this a test run by throwing some items in there and they should pop out of the top of the elevator. Perfect. Uh, what I mentioned earlier about the redstone torch being inverted, in its regular on state, it locks this signal, but when it unlocks by being inverted, it allows that torch and repeater that you see down there flashing, it allows that redstone clock to turn on and off and on and off, which sends the items up the elevator by activating and deactivating our drive. Droppers. Now that we are finished with the item elevator, the next part of our build is the automatic sorting storage system. Now this was originally designed by Impulse SV, and I'll leave his video link in the description below because he'll go into greater detail than I'm going to go into here as to why this works over some other sorting systems that you might have seen on YouTube. Uh, but this is basically the design that everybody uses as the standard sorting system design. And the great thing about this is it's completely tileable, so you can go more than four chests like we've done. You can go 20 modules, or 50, or 100, or however many of them that you want to do, as long as you've got the iron to spend on it, because you're going to need a lot of hoppers. Once you have all of your chests in place, you need to go ahead and place hoppers directly into the back of each chest. This will allow all of your items to flow directly to the bottom, and then once the bottom chest is filled up, the next one in line will fill up, and then the next one on top of that. The next thing that we need to do is place down solid blocks on each of these top hoppers, just like this. And then we need to grab our comparators and place them down on top of those blocks. This is the beginnings of the redstone circuitry to our sorting system, which will lock the hoppers until the correct item has passed. Now, this is the hopper line right here that we're placing directly into the back of these comparators that will do the actual sorting for our sorting system, which we'll come back to that in just a moment. Then we need to add two more rows of blocks just like this, and then we need to do a little staircase down just like that. And then we can break that block right there because we don't really need it, and then we'll run a line across just like this. And then we'll come underneath the platform that we just built and put a row of blocks just like that, and then one more row of blocks just like that. We actually need to break this row of blocks right here because I forgot we need to place down our repeaters first because we don't want to break our redstone once we get to that. So repeaters facing into those blocks, then we'll add this row of blocks just like that. And then we'll place down redstone dust on top of all of these blocks that we place down until the entire platform is filled with redstone dust, like so. And then we'll jump down underneath our platform. On these blocks right here, we will place redstone torches all the way down. And that's basically all for the circuitry of our sorting system. 
Normally we have hoppers facing forward, but because this is the last chest in the line and we're not gonna do an overflow system, we can put that one at the very end facing downward. But the rest of them need to be facing forward into each other, so all of the items will travel down the line until they reach the appropriate hopper to do all of the sorting magic. And then we just need to basically run this hopper line back to the item elevator, which we'll have to go back up one, just like that. We'll place a hopper facing downward, and then let's go over here and place down our last hopper, and we are finished. Next, we need to add in our item filters into the hoppers that are facing directly into those comparators that we did earlier in the video. The reason why we are using cobblestone is because it is one of the easiest items in the game to get a hold of, and as long as you rename it to something that you're not sorting, hence the name item filter, that's not an item in the game, uh, you will not have any issues with your system. You need 11 item filters in the last four slots of each of those hoppers, and you should be good to go. And now the fun part, we get to sort the actual items, so we'll go back to that same row of hoppers and we'll place in one diamond there, and then we'll place in an emerald, and then a piece of gold, and to show you that the name actually does matter, there's a piece of cobblestone going into that first slot of that last hopper. We'll head over to our input chest and throw in our diamonds and our emeralds and gold and cobblestone, and you can see that it is working, all of the redstone is doing its magic, and you can see there's the diamonds going into the system, and this will take a little bit of time, but it's already funneling into the correct chest there. And I will show you a jump cut of the next item in the sorting system, which should be emeralds here in just a second. And there you have it. Our emeralds are making their way into the next chest in line. This thing is working, and we are pretty much finished with this project. If you're going to build this in a survival world, you might want to consider putting some blocks in front of everything just to hide all of the redstone mess. Unless that's something you really like and are trying to incorporate as part of your design, it's nice to keep everything nice and tidy and behind closed doors. Something else I'm going to try to start doing for you guys was suggested by a lot of people in the comment section on the last two episodes of Blueprints. Uh, if that's to include the items in a list that you will need for this build. Now that doesn't include things like concrete and building blocks and stuff to hide all of the mechanics, but we will include all of the redstone, all of the chests, the hoppers, all of that. I'll count it all out for you so you don't have to do that work for yourselves. I will also include the link in the description below for the original video that Impulse SV put out for the auto sorting system, but that's pretty much going to do it for today, guys. Let me know if you end up building this in your survival world. I would love to see a picture of it over on Twitter and how you incorporate it into your own builds. But for now, my name is Blue Jay, and I've got to fly on out of here. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.